Yeah, sweet, sweet music for the morning with a nice raspy tone of Stephen Newland with Modern Day Jericho. And now, my people, art therapist Leslie Ann Bell Navis is also a photographer and she's managed to find ways to make use of photography not only as a means of artistic expression but also a tool in therapy. Good morning. Good morning, Empress. How well, are you you're pretty. <laughs> at this beer, pretty people come to smile at Jamaica this morning. Um, with that said, art, what is art therapy? Art therapy basically is a clinical profession yes. that uses art and that mean, that includes drawing, painting, sculpture and photography mm -hmm. to help clients express their emotions or difficult situation that they may have um, trouble finding words using to express that. Okay, and this is used in the mental health profession. Yes. What kind of art are we talking about? You're drawing something and how is that different to phototherapy? Okay. Art therapy can be can involve phototherapy. Yes. There have some art therapists who incorporate that technique mm -hmm. within their approach with a client. Phototherapy is a is a clinical tool that's used that incorporates photo based techniques and photography as a voice for persons to express um, their memory, a difficult feeling that they may have, a situation. So for example with the the trauma therapy that you had talking about this morning with the Malaysian, with airlines, the Malaysian yes. airlines, the families may want to process what's happened or change the situation. They're having difficulty experiencing closure because they don't know where their family members are. Mm -hmm. So I might have them come into a session and either create photos of what that last moment with their family member would be like and process that situation and use those photographs to retell the story, reframe it so they can cope with the death of their or loss of their family member. Interesting. Yeah. Now, I know from previous things that I've looked at, phototherapy is not just, I mean, you're talking about this new technique mm -hmm. in, um, in, in, in healing mm -hmm. and, and expressing yourself, but it also is that term has also been used to deal with medical conditions like ultraviolet lights, etc. Right? For, what do we call it phototherapy. Um, a that's a different, different. That's a different technique. Mm. Um, that's probably within the aspect of photography itself. But phototherapy, within the clinical sense, is used by mental health professionals okay. to help clients. Is it um, a new technique? It's probably fairly new because when I was trained, um, it wasn't that popular. There is Judy Weisel in Canada, an art therapist who uses it and she has courses for it. So. Okay, we're gonna throw to this picture now. Um, what is this picture saying? Do you know anything about this one? The SCAR um, project, what the is the SCAR, SCAR project? project? The SCAR project, I believe, is a group of um, women who have experienced breast cancer and have different stages of um, treatment. Yes. And so as a result, they've photographed themselves at the different stages. Mm -hmm. and. Have well, put that's these not pictures a woman up. There, was it? No, no, it wasn't. Just wanted to just say that. <laughs> it wasn't. Okay. But um, we could Ooh. talk about this in terms of phototherapy. Yes. And the difference between using these pictures as a self-expression to make a statement about themselves, uh -huh. dealing with the breast cancer. Okay. That's one aspect. But in terms of phototherapy, mm -hmm. I would have. Oh, okay. What's this that one? picture is that. That's a popular picture that's going around now. This man, his wife has had um, breast cancer. And so he started putting on these tutus and going around yes. in different settings uh -huh. as a way to make humor of the make situation, her, of the situation okay. and help her feel better mm -hmm. about the situation. So that's one aspect. And humor is important yes, in dealing with, with, with difficult, traumatic situations. It is, but in terms of if it was to be phototherapy now, mm -hmm. if I'm incorporating that as photo art therapy, yes. I would have him bring that picture in or even his bring himself and his wife in as yes. a couple therapy yes. and make more photos or change the photos or um, have them make a self portrait about what sh how she's feeling about the, the treatment, how that's impacting them. He has used it now as a form of, of humor, right. right? But we would explore it more uh -huh. in terms of bringing more photos in, taking more photos of them. To address all the, the different right, feelings, that, feelings that's coming up with dealing with the, the, the cancer. The cancer, <laughs> yes, the breast cancer. Now, you don't just use this with other people in your, in your therapy sessions, but you yourself, um, have, are, you've used phototherapy to deal with some of your own situations. Um, Share that no, with No, that's us. a different. I haven't yeah. used phototherapy on myself. Oh, not on yourself. <laughs> yes. I know 
I use you photography, use photography. Okay. as an expression. Okay. So there's a difference. And it's a difference. Yes. Photography is an expression. Mm -hmm. As a creative expression. But then you phototherapy. Have phototherapy is used with a clinical mental health professional. Professional. Which is guiding you through the process. Okay. Tell us about your photography. Oh. <laughs> Here are some photos. Yes. Um, right now, oh, that one what is, is called Striker now? Pose. Uh-oh. <laughs> this went fast. Um, mm -hmm. These, I have... I used to dance, and so I wanted to explore movement in photography. Yes. So that's my sister. Okay. And that's called Release. Okay. Um, what so are we releasing here? Because I'm sure every photo means something. <laughs> She's leaping. Um, <laughs> it's just, these are just me exploring dance and the movement. Okay. That's the concept that okay. I was exploring as an artist. Okay. So you're expressing yourself. Okay. This one is very it's significant. This is a... Uh, a piece called, um, one of them is called Acceptance and is from the Vision series. Mm -hmm. um, the model has had a visual impairment recently mm -hmm. and so I was honoring her. I was, um, I wanted to, my photographs to be a tribute to her story and her situation. Okay. And what is this That's one now? Acceptance, That's her as well? I think. Yes. Okay, so what do you do with these photos? Is these it just, yeah, is it just for you or is it something that you're sharing with other people? Both. Okay. Both. Uh -huh. For me, my photography is my self-expression. Right. And they always say, as therapists, we need an outlet. Okay. And so mine right now is using photography. And you I recommend can... that to other people? Yes. Okay. Love it. We should take one. On <laughs> yes, we should. Um, <laughs> I'd like to express myself. I'll sure. tell you what I'm going to take. Um, but let's deal with, um, uh, you know, the Jamaican context. Um, context with phototherapy and art therapy. Mm -hmm. How can we access you? What advice would you give us? Many people have a camera now, have a phone camera, um, need to deal with mental health. How can we access this method of art therapy via you? Well, they can contact me. I'm based at Caribbean Tots to Teens Agency, mm -hmm. which is at 11 Latham Avenue. Tots to Teens? Yes. yes. And they can email me at art therapy. LB yes. at Carib mm -hmm. Tots, the number two, mm -hmm. teens.com. Okay. And it's deeper than, than, than what people might think because it's counseling, um, parent child therapy. There's a therapy. team of us that's there. We yeah. have a psychologist that mm -hmm. uses talk therapy. Yes. We do assessments there. We also use play therapy. Okay. And we have a nutritionist on staff. Okay. Lovely. Um, anything else you want to share with the Jamaican people about art just, therapy and phototherapy? You wanted to talk about the Jamaican context. Yes. Okay. So if there is someone who's, for example, I might be working with a child whose um, parents are getting a divorce mm -hmm. or they're, have, they're struggling with um, that change, that transition. Mm -hmm. I might ask the child to bring in a photo or give them a camera and take a picture of what they want that situation to look like or how it would help them deal with that transition of mommy and daddy are no longer going to be together. Mm -hmm. What does that mean mm -hmm. for me? Mm -hmm. And we explore that further using the photography because the photo is, a, is, is symbolic. Mm -hmm. You can change it. You can reframe mm -hmm. the situation for yourself. Interesting. And it's tangible. I can keep it. I right. can hold on to or it. Or we can throw it away. Yes. <laughs> But you know, I, I change I, it up. I, I, I'm re I really am very interested in hearing more, especially with the young people I work with. I have to put mm -hmm. this in who are being abused, young boys and young girls yes. being abused every day. Yes. And I will not stop saying it once I have and a I'll television platform. This. We need to stop this abuse, and I would love to see art therapy. Um, being I would used say this to too. Them. A lot of persons within our culture, they're not. They don't. We don't tend to talk a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So using the camera, up. I know. Yeah. Using the camera is our voice, <laughs> so they can use that. Yeah. It's easier. And Simone and I are initiating you into our club because. <laughs> wearing red and you know what's up <laughs> let's take a photo take a photo take, take a picture of the people take a picture of the, the people, people. Art, yeah right there right there take a picture of them smile everybody on smart jamaica <laughs> art therapist leslie ann bell navis thank you so thank much you. and we transfer the set into a showcase when we return from the break with artist katrina abrahams take another picture quick 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 we should take a vote. come selfie